We're here at Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery in the heart of Chelsea. With us is the owner, Ruthie Tucker. Ruthie, tell us what we can expect this evening. Good afternoon. Thank you, Crystal. Everyone should acknowledge the fabulosity and the beauty and the sparkling Crystal Heart. We thank Crystal for coming to Chelsea to interview our eclectic artists who range in um, from pop art, contemporary art, graffiti art, abstract expressionism, landscape, floral. We are very thrilled. In addition, this has been a very special exhibition because Denise Cummings has made her curatorial debut for our spring soiree and has contributed a dazzling group of new contemporary artists to Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. So we'd like to thank Denise Cummings and if I may say welcome to Denise Thank Cummings. you. Ruthie, thank you, Crystal. Hi, I'm Denise Cummings, and welcome to this wonderful show that uh, Amsterdam Whitney Gallery has allowed me to curate, blended. Um, please enjoy all the interviews that we've, uh, she, Crystal's captured, <laughs> and the essence of the artists and their personalities, because that is what they bring they, to their work. They bring their passion, and they bring their beauty, and it's there to share. It's like an open book. So thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Ruthie. Well, thank you. Now we'll take a walk around. Tracy Barwick and from Maryland as you said and behind me I see some well you explain your work tell tell the audience about your passion and and the creations well my passion is uh, working with beads um, they are they are formed by emotions colors and just blending of just uh, just based upon emotions, you know, it's it's about the flow, like the piece behind me is about the colors and and how it just um, intertwined in a woman's body and, and it, so it's recognized in a lot of my pieces where they're blended and uh, but again, bees are my, my favorite and, and that's what you'll see in most of my art. So this one is called Amongst the Stars. Um, it just shows um, just the, the colors and the patterns um, within a galaxy, you know, it just, it, it just, it's a flow of colors um, using silvers and then within the, the darker ranges and then the flow of colors within the gold range. Is this a mixed media? It is. It's gold leaf foil, it's um, acrylic, and then Toho and uh, Mayuki Japanese glass beads. So this is called She Flows. Um, it's very, it, it's a passionate piece. It took me uh, about three weeks only because I, I, it was a free, it, it just, I just allowed the colors to dictate and how they are, they're paired and then blended. So it's called She's Fl She Flows. Um, and so that's what you see, it's just the flow of colors around the central parts of a woman. Beautiful colors, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and it's all beads. There is no fiber within my being. They're all glued. Um, oh, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no threading at all. So this is called the Shaman Mask. Um, it's, it's ethnic. Um, it looks Asian. It looks uh, African only because of the, the accentuated lips and the nose. Um, but there was, it was just a, I wanted to blend the colors of people. Um, and that's what I did. And then I just wanted to add a little pop of the hairline, how it goes up into a, a ponytail. Um, but everything is all, there's all being. Um, and, and again, they're, they're Mayuki beads and Toho beads. So I like this one because it's, it's spiritual to me. So Spiritual in what way? Um, when I looked up, when I, when I did a research on shaman, um, I know that it's, you know, it's, they, they bring luck to you. They bring a little bit of a religion, not religion per se, but a little spirituality into your life. And so I thought maybe at the time I needed that 
And so I just drew a form and then I just allowed the colors to dictate it on its own. Um, I used um, the blending of the beads. I count beads so that they look like a design on the inside. And, and this is what I get. Normally I don't, I, I have no idea what it'll look like before I'm finished. So, and this is my outcome. And then my last piece is acrylic. I decided I was gonna try something with painting. And it's the, the pretty blue dress. Um, I thought I'd give myself a break from the beads and use a little bit of acrylic and then textured medium. And I, I love her. I mean, because it, I, I like to show the different shading of people. And I don't like to do a person or a figure with just one color. So I want to show the golds, the browns, the tans, the, you know, the beige. And that's what I try to do in everything that I do. You'll not see anything that's one color. So. And that's it. Thank you. Well, thank you. And we're here at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. You didn't make these earrings by jazz. No. Oh, because they're almost... <laughs> I, was, I was trying to find something that looked like my art. Like uh, my yeah, it does look like your art. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what it is. So I just, you know, I, I wanted to show, I wanted to feel and look how my art is presented. So. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Rez Wands, one half of Boogie Rez. And these are my photos. Fun lifestyle photos, stuff that I captured in various places. One's from Art Basel, and the other one's from a mural project in uh, San Francisco. I like to capture like pretty much everything. I do concepts, landscapes. If it's fun, I take a picture of it. I'm all about aspiring to be inspired, and hopefully to inspire along the way. That's what it's all about. Art and love, love and art, all that good stuff. My name is Stephanie Grajales, and um, my piece here is pop art inspired, and uh, it's called Hush Hush. And um, I can't really tell you what I feel or how to interpret it because I left it open to interpretation, then hence all the arrows. It's pretty much a story that you can piece together on your own, and it has several different uh, beginnings, endings, so there's no starting point, there's no finishing point, it's however you want to put it all together. With us, Denise Cummings, and we are at the Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery here in Chelsea. Uh, Denise, now tell me a little bit about your work behind us. Uh, hello, nice to meet everyone. My work is uh, mixed media, and I it's, it's a study of how remarkably similar we are to flowers, where flowers are naturally textured, colored, and scented to ultimately find a pollinator. We do the same thing. We clothe ourselves in beautiful garments and colors. We spray perfumes on us. And ultimately, we're looking for a partner, a pollinator, or to socialize. And so my, my abstract flowers are a reflection of how society is uh, so remarkable to them. So you have happy flowers and love flowers and angry flowers? I don't have any angry flowers. Oh, no angry no flowers? No angry flowers. There are no angry flowers in nature. I'm a licensed horticulturalist, and so there are no fl angry flowers in nature. Because <laughs> well, it's an angry society right now. So. <laughs> yes, and what we need are, are happy flowers. And so my flowers are a mixture of uh, diverse materials. Uh, right here is called... Can Right here is called Honeycomb, Darling the Queen is in. And um, it is the first time I've made a magnitude size of six foot by three feet and used a metal, re recycled metal part from a, from a uh, lighting company. And it was all about looking at who really is the queen bee. So here's the honeycomb and we have my bees here. But inside, is the hive and inside you could sneak really carefully if you look there is a photograph of Queen Victoria who I admired so much for her strength her passion her courage to push the boundaries of, of royal of what her royal uh, position it was and she was not afraid to go after what she wanted to learn and create new things but so we 
in putting her in here, it helped me think more about, okay, I love her, I love the monarchy, but who really is the queen bee? It's the bee, it's the honeybee. Because without the honeybee, we wouldn't have nature, we wouldn't have life. Without monarchy, we'd be okay. But, so, I explored that the honeybee is the queen bee of nature, and with that, um, and a reflection of how uh, elegant the monarchy is, uh, I've created these abstract flowers using luxury dresses that I've sculpted from magazines, as well as diamonds and pearls and little whimsical uh, flights of butterflies to really give you the sense that you're in a garden and you're exploring. And each one of my works here showing at the Amsterdam Whitney Gallery um, is a reflection of who we are as people, what we enjoy doing, and it takes us to another level. It, and even for myself as an artist, it is surprising to me that people find different things in my work that I never even considered. And I sit back in an awe that they're, they're like, do you know that that's a dragonfly? I'm like, oh, it is a dragonfly, you know? So, so for me, it, it helps me to be around people, to talk to people about my work, and it, it really encourages me as an artist to push the boundaries uh, like this, uh, this piece. And uh, I just, I'm very passionate about flowers, if you haven't, couldn't tell by now. And <laughs> I just uh, love color, and mostly uh, everything that's beautiful. We're all beautiful, and so to the question of angry flowers, no. No angry, no angry flowers. Ever. Not in the world. <laughs> this piece here is called The Dreamer Revisited. And it is a it is a woman sleeping in her lovely bed and in her dreams she can go uh, to other places and, and she's never captured. A cage can never hold her in. She's always fluttering within her dreams she discovers that. This one here is called the spice flower and for me it was about adding food to my work and you can see here this is actually some pepper on a plate and um, some uh, lovely um, liqueur and for me this one here is about reading books and discovering different directions of where we can go. This one here is called Current Mood and you can find solace in the middle of yourself. You can find a peaceful place. Even though it's a dark color, it is in the middle. Um, you can find peace in that and then expand yourself if you're ever in a dark place. You can expand out and just go, wow. Okay, this is my current mood. I may be having a lemon of a day, but it's a, it's a great mood to be in once you discover that. This, here, this piece here is called uh, it's my Louis Vuitton and butterflies. And it was taking a luxury brand item, and this is something that I've just recently explored, is using a brand item, uh, the, the, the label, the, the brand, and then taking it further as how now many people look to these brands as, as the new god, and I don't really like using that word freely, but um, there are people that follow them to a great extent that they have to have it, they must have it. And so that's really a view of our own psychology as to what it is that and why it is that we, we are doing that. Um, and, and sometimes we have to free ourselves from that, from needing a Louis Vuitton, from needing a Prada. This is David in the garden, and David is, for me, just being, he's on a Prada bag, and he's in the garden of beautiful luxury flowers and, and um, whimsical vines and 
for, for David reaching out and to touch the beautiful flowers is a representation of reaching to the sky of whatever it is that you want for yourself in life. This one here is Elegance in the Garden, and it started with the silver spoons. Elegance in the Garden is about how remarkably similar we all are, uh, whether we were born with a silver spoon in our mouth or not, and we all use a spoon to eat with, whether it's silver or not. And so from there it grew into this magical flower, um, the center being some uh, flowers that are real and butterflies. And then up here you can tell that there's some cooked food, a representation of what comes out of that garden. What it is that we use a spoon for is, is to eat. And, and right here I used a set of copper pots and the copper pots are a, a great um, conductor of energy and I thought it was important to add the element of copper in this piece to, because food ultimately gives us the energy of life. Tales of the Unexpected, the mysterious woman in the middle. She's really a reflection of how Many uh, street artists love to hide their face and they do that because they don't want to be seen and for me it's, it's, it's an exploration of why is it that they're doing that, what is it that they, they want to hold within themselves and what is it that they want to expand on. This here, um, we covered, yes, oh, a box of chocolates. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Um, uh, they're all my favorites, but okay, this is one of the favorites. In, in a sense that uh, I, I practically covered the entire uh, wood panel with uh, clippings um, that I sculpted from magazines. And I thought of a box of chocolates because you never know what you're gonna get until you bite into it. Beauty. Beauty was specifically about, uh, made about women and how just a little bit of color, just a little bit of lipstick changes our whole demeanor, changes how we feel about it, ourselves. And to take that, that tube of lipstick and, and travel these are suitcases, and, and of course Tiffany, uh, Tiffany luggage, of course we must use Tiffany luggage. Um, this one here is Miss uh, Dior, and Miss Dior is, is the horse, and she is in this beautiful elegant building, and she climbs the stairs because she's intoxicated by the aroma of the flowers, that she decides to swing from the chandelier. So this is my work, and uh, I um, am so happy for this opportunity to share with you uh, what I am so passionate about. So thank you. With us is Rima Glazer. And Michael Glazer. And Michael Glazer. And, and tell me a little bit about the work. Michael is a fan of music and opera. And this is one of his, he, for each exhibition, he prepared different theme. The theme of this exhibition is about, all about musicians. He has a lot of musicians, the whole uh, series of musicians, different one, orchestra, like you see violin, um, cello. He likes music and he feels it with his heart. And in his pictures, he, tries, he presents the, mu the soul of the music and soul of the people who perform this music. Because music always comes from the heart, from the people's heart, if you want to touch other people. Uh, I, could, I could speak a lot about Michael. He has different... You want me to talk only about this exhibition? This one, yes. This current one. And what would you like to say about About your what? Art? About your art. He does his art from his soul. It's not that he sees somebody, 
and draws somebody. He never draws somebody. He comes, all his art comes from his mind, from his soul. He has a different um, drawings, like books with different drawings, but he has something in his mind. He always put it on paper. And when he gets the right drawing what, of what he wants to introduce, he makes a picture, a big picture. And why musicians? Why musicians? Michael. Why musicians? Musicians, the best people. This is my friends, musicians. I like them. He likes yes? music. He likes I think he likes music. Right. It's why he... And in music, it's soul of the person, of the people. It does not matter what nationality, what country, or what, uh, I don't know, color you are. The music unites people. We, we listen the same music and we understand the same music. We have an array of musicians here that speak from the soul, no matter the color, the race, politically, whatever. It all comes from the heart and soul. Music unites us, unites all over the world. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Pitch Black. Uh, these are my two pieces. Um, I take uh, cultural iconography and mix them up and make pop art. And here's two different examples of that style. Tell me about that word, dope. That's a new word. Dope. It's cool. It's everything that's good. Uh, my work uh, celebrates happiness and fun. And, and uh, this guy here is having a dope life. He's happy. He's got no worries. It's all dope. Ooh, let's see. Hey, y'all. I'm Risa Boogie with a triple I R triple I S A Boogie. Uh, my work, oh damn. Um, I do a bunch of like woodcut pieces. I'm all about layers. Like life is all about layers, you know. And then yeah, it's like I usually I'm very ADD, so I need to actually kind of let go and create a piece of paper first and let it all out, and then I kind of start puzzling all the pieces together. And I guess that's a way also like me telling my story because I'm not a verbal person, as you can see. I'm like. Everything just comes out, but yeah, just like life. It's like all what I create is from like people I meet, and I kind of put it into my ver. What do you say? Verbal. My my speech. My verbal way and my visual ways, I guess. But yeah, like a little bit. Of my story is like this is all like a little bit of inspiration from my grandfather. When I was younger, he used to like raise me because my father was in Japan, and my so we used to always eat like fish eyeballs. <laughs> like tentacles and fish guts and then he used to always like we all used to watch like Ultraman and King Nikuman and it's just he's my superhero so this is kind of like all about my grandpa. oh and my mom too because she loved her flowers that woman got me thinking about flowers 24 7 now so yeah I used to hate them but they're alive into my work now but yeah and then my little monsters but yeah I guess that's about I don't know check one two mic yeah <laughs> and everybody else. <laughs> Thank you. If that made any sense. Is it karaoke time? <laughs> Hi, my name is Michelle Algan and this is my work here. Um, looking at it from a distance, it's two food items. If you get a little bit closer, you'll see that there are pills adorning both of the items of food. I basically want to start a conversation uh, on the pharmaceutical industry, uh, bringing pills into our daily lives and uh, presenting them in the sense that they're as easy to ingest and as desirable as a pretzel or a donut. Hi, I'm Bo. I'm an artist based in New York. I paint and practice the concept of the power of the present. When people are being present, they can separate their emotions and thoughts from themselves and coexist with them and observe the relationship 
between the emotions and themselves. That's my concept. <laughs> and I do acrylic painting on canvas. Yes. <laughs> We're saying goodnight from Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery, the owner first. Ruthie Tucker, thank you Crystal, thank you Blended, and thank you all the fabulous Amsterdam Whitney Gallery artists. Happy spring. Happy spring and journey. Risa Boogie, Denise Cummings, and thank you so much. Stephanie Grajales. Rez Wines. Rez. <laughs> Pitch Black. Pitch Black. Michael Glazer. Laser. Michelle Allgood. Bo Mejo. And we're saying goodnight, everybody! <laughs>